Domestic Divas intervene on Tuesday at half past eight. Now on RT1, it's Libby's big day on Shortland Street. Well, what are you doing? If your feelings for Bella have you running scared, then maybe it's because it's the real deal. You should get her. Soph, I'm in love with someone else. Who? You, Soph. I'm in love with you. Goody, you're just in time for a sneak peek. <laughs> they certainly go over the top of the packaging of that shop, don't they? It's only a suit and a couple of half-priced frocks. Oh, oh, hello. Sorry, Gerald, I nearly knocked you out. Libby, I need to talk to you, you now. You should see the dress, it's divine. What dress? The dress that she was drooling over at the bridal shop. Isaac did what he thought was a good deed and paid the extra, so bye-bye practical suit. I also upgraded on the bridesmaid dresses. I hope you don't mind, but the other ones had these nasty cap sleeves and it would have been so wrong. OK, so when you say upgrade, how much are we talking? I can't listen to this. Uh, please, no, this had nothing to do with it. Oh, me. it's not that bad. It's nothing we can't pay off. So uh, you'll be all haute couture at the registry office? Some of us will be wearing hats. Uh, no, we won't. You can take that back right away. Mum! OK. Wait, Libby, I came to tell you that I quit my job. Of course you did. We're leaving in two weeks. No, I mean I walked out. Today. I'm finished. What? Why? Leo Hofstetter. He gave me an ultimatum. Either I keep working and miss my rescheduled suit fitting, or I walk out of the hospital for good. He can't do that to you. Well, he can and he did, and so I walked out without even bothering to clear my desk. I... <sighs> Libby, the downside is I miss out on two weeks' pay, but there is an upside. I moved our departure dates forward, so we get married and then fly out the very next day. Ah! No! It's too soon. Why do you care? You're swanning off to Peru the same day. I suppose I am. Excuse me. Huh. And I guess that is the closest she'll come to saying she's going to miss us. But she's not happy for us, though. And I need her to be. I want her to understand. It won't be the same if we do this without her. What happened to those spreadsheets, Leo? They never arrived in my email. I had to fudge like crazy in that meeting. Oh, I can't understand that. I amended them and sent them as soon as I'd finished wrangling Gerald. Sorry? He made his resignation effective immediately. Why? I think the stress of the wedding was getting to him. He needed to focus on his personal life. He never said anything to me. It's probably for the best. Now I can get on to training up his replacement. Uh, first, I'll have the admissions clerk resend those spreadsheets. It could be my new email account playing up. Excuse me. You know, that's so strange about Gerald. He said he was looking forward to his last two weeks. I, I thought he needed the money. Rachel McKenna. Uh, yeah, he's my brother. What sort of an accident? Is he OK? You all right? Yep, fine. Two flat whites to go. Cheers. Well, obviously you're not, because you're barely speaking to me. I've been busy. Look, I'm sorry about the Bella thing, OK? I didn't know how you felt, and if I did, then I wouldn't Apology have given... Apology accepted. Well, I wish you meant it. I do. We're sweet. Hey. Dude. Coffee? Yeah. So, what's going on with you and Brady? Nothing. Come on, Sophie. He's been in a foul mood since yesterday. Since you tried to get your top off, actually. OK, well, that was a dumb game. Yeah, one he didn't want to play with the lovely Bella, only with you. And he gave her the big flick when she started coming on to him. Since when does Brody do that? I don't know. Since he got the hots for you, I'm guessing. So I was right from the start. There was something going on. Please don't say anything to him, OK? I've made such a mess of things. How? By trying to match make Brody and Bella. I'm the one who told her he was into her. That's why she made a move. Then when I tackled him about it, he said... He said that he loved me. No way. Yes, and now they're both upset and it's all my fault. So Brody actually said the L word. Yes, and I don't feel the same. And I have to work with him. And he lives with you. And I see him all the time. And Bella's a mess. This is awful, Hunter. I don't know what to do. Morning. You should sit down when you eat. You give yourself indigestion. Oh, I'm hardly hungry anyway. Got butterflies. You need a good breakfast today of all days. We don't want you fainting in the middle of things. Mum, would you give me away? Don't be silly. It's a registry office. They don't even do that there. But it's my wedding and we can do what we like. 
Please, it will mean a lot to me. I'm sorry, but I have to say no. It just doesn't feel right to me. OK. That was pretty harsh. I was being honest. I won't pretend that I think it's a good idea. Getting married or her moving to the other side of the world. Lippy will miss you too, you know. And Gerald. They don't have to do this. They want to. Haven't you always said that your only hope for us girls is that we're happy? I don't think a sham marriage will make her happy. Well, it's not for you to decide. Your only decision is whether you support Libby or not. Whether you make this day a happy one or a horrible one. And I know what I would do if it was JJ. A car crash? How bad is it? Well, he's conscious, but critical. He gave them my cell phone number and my email. I didn't even know he had them. And you said you'd lost touch. Well, we had. God, he's such an idiot. He was in some race, apparently. Typical, reckless, stupid Jonathan. Are you going alone? I mean, is Callum... Oh, he's got stuff to do here. I'll be fine on my own. <sighs> he better not go and die on me. I've had enough of that in my life. Unreliable damn McKinnons. <sighs> I promise I won't mess up when I see him. Well, you might be. And if you are, it's OK. It's a natural reaction to shock. Thank you, Dr. Warner. <laughs> uh, I should um, get this finished. I'm on a tight schedule. Right. If you need me for anything, anything, just tell me, please. I'm feeling a bit weird, actually. Pre-wedding jitters. Perfectly normal. Well, this isn't a normal wedding, though. Which means it won't turn out like last time. You and Libby know exactly where you stand. Best friends forever. No, it's true. And we are. And we will be. <laughs> no matter what. So there's nothing to be uneasy about, is there? No. <laughs> I could have dropped JJ at the city. You didn't need to send Nicole. She offered. She thought you might want to help Libby. You know, the way mothers of the bride do. Stop going on at me. I said I'd give her away. What more do you want? Oh, that'll be the florist. I'll go. Oh, you're not flowers. But I am champagne. Any of the good stuff with Jeffrey's girls? I think you have to stop doing this. What? Trying to buy me back. It's not what I'm doing. Look, this, this isn't the time to discuss it, but for now, maybe it's best if you just don't come to the wedding. Libby invited me. I'm looking forward to seeing her in a dress. Why? So you can Skype to everyone that you bought it for her? I would never do that. Uh, um, it's Libby's. I'll take it. Hi, Libby Jeffrey's phone. Isaac, are you coming in? No, he's not. I bought champagne. Oh, lovely. Mom, can you just give us a minute? It's all right. There's no need to bite my head off. Maya, who's on the phone? Let's both be honest. This isn't working. <laughs> I've barely given it a chance. Tanya, where is everyone? It was stupid giving it any chance. Let's just call it quits. You're dumping me here now. Yes, no, just go, please, goodbye. Libby, you look beautiful. I hope the day goes really well for you. <laughs> I'm sorry I won't be here. Nice one, Tans. <laughs> what? Breaking up my wedding date's hardly a good omen, is it? The florist sent our flowers to the wrong address. We have to pick up the replacements if we want them in time. That's what happens when you have your flowers done out. What choice did we have? You wouldn't do them. Who wants champagne? Didn't you hear me? I said someone has to pick up the flowers. Hello! Right in the room. Does anyone care? Oh, sorry. You look amazing, love. Yes, sorry. I should have said. It's a lovely dress. You look a picture. You stay here with Libby and I'll get the flowers. I'm just popping into Central and then I'll be working from home. If anyone needs me urgently, they can call me on my cell. Yes, Dr. Warner. Hey, hey. Hey, about yesterday. At the oh, I feel so bad for what I said to you. It wasn't your fault I stuffed up with Brody. I shouldn't have blamed you. I'm so sorry. No, I'm sorry. I shouldn't have pushed you on him like that. I just thought. Oh, that you he... thought he liked me. I did too. I'm so dumb. What guy gets a headache on a first date? It's like, hello, you are the headache dimwit. You're not a dimwit. Brody thinks I am. No, he doesn't. That's not the reason why he gave you the big swerve. Hunter, 
I know my mate, and a few months ago he would have been all over you like a rash. You think? For sure. It's just bad timing. He's into somebody else. The wrong somebody, by the way. Is that true? Does Brody like someone else? Yeah. Who? The important thing is just to let him go and move on. Except Hunter said it was the wrong someone. If I knew what he meant by that, maybe I'd still have a chance. Do you think it's someone from the bar or someone around here or a married woman? Is that possible? Bella, just take my advice, okay? Forget about him. Find someone else. You'll be much, much happier. You girls all look so pretty. Maybe the hat won't be out of place after all. Your sisters will get your flowers in it's... time. Don't worry. They'll be waiting at the registry office. It's not the flowers I'm worried about. It's the limo. It's 15 minutes late. I'm going to call them. Oh! No. No, 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 no. No, no, no. My shoe is ruined. My beautiful shoe. No, it isn't. Just get the phone. Hello? Well, where are you? How am I going to get to my wedding? Where you should be, because my day is ruined. The limo is stuck on the Harbour Bridge and they can't get another one out in time. Please let there be a luxury cab available. I am not turning up to my wedding in a Ferndale taxi's maxi van. There is no time to wait for a taxi. I'll drive us. I wish you'd let me come home with you. I could help you pack, take you to the airport. Oh, you've got enough to do with me taking off at short notice. I, I don't want to make it any worse for you. I don't mind. Well, I've already booked a cab, so I'll just drive myself home if that's okay. Of course, whatever you want. How could you possibly run out of petrol? I don't know. I'm sorry. Are you? I'm going to miss my wedding now, which I'm sure you're going to be very happy about indeed. Don't be ridiculous. I'll call roadside assistant. No, Come and help us. Don't take too long. I'll call Maya. She can come pick us up. I don't believe it. My battery's flat. Give me your phone. We left in such a hurry, I must have left it in the apartment. Oh, this is not happening. It's OK. There's a garage further up. I'll walk up and get a can. Just sit tight and stay calm. They're almost at the I do's. We're up next. Libby's phone keeps going straight to the message. I... Oh, thank goodness. Here they are. No, not all of them. Oh, where's Libby? She's coming in the limo with Mum. What? It's nearly our turn. Oh, you know, love, she'll want to be fashionably late. Well, yeah, but she's cutting it a bit fine. All the better for making a grand entrance. Absolutely. She'll be here, Gerald. And I'm gonna miss my wedding. You have to help me. How did you do that? Do you need a lift to the registry office? Please. And, um, we, need, we need to pick Mum up at the petrol station on the way. And we have to hurry. Okay, I'll get your things. <sighs> sorry. Sorry, sorry. I wouldn't believe what's happened, but I'll tell you later. Come on. No, hey. It's too late. But I'm here now. We missed our spot. Could be able to squeeze us in. We already asked. They don't have a slot available till next week. But you don't ask, you demand. Or you bribe them, or you jam them, or something. We tried everything. I'm sorry. No! This is my day! I have to get married! 
After everything that has happened today, I deserve to get married. Maybe it's not meant to be. What? Maybe everything that's happened today was a sign. Are you saying God doesn't want me to marry Gerald? Chicken salad to take away, please. It's for my boss, not me. Or one of my bosses, Leo Hofstetter. He really likes chicken. Not a problem. I'm really sorry about yesterday. No, you don't have to apologize. I thought I was getting signals. Obviously, I wasn't. I think I need to go to some kind of remedial school for reading body language. I've never been very good at it. I was probably giving you mixed messages. I mean, you, you're a really cool chick. It's just, I'm, I'm kind of caught up on someone else. Mm, lucky her. <laughs> she doesn't seem to think so. She doesn't feel the same way. So I just have to let it go. It's not easy, eh? I've just come out of a full-on relationship and I'm still getting over it. It'll be ages before I'm ready for anything serious. Yeah, me too. <laughs> so maybe we could just hang out. How do you mean? Like, you know, just hang out. See how we go. Mm. We could do that. Cool. Um, I'll just go give them your order. That go. Awesome. Me and Brody are back on. You what? Well, not on, on, but we're going to see what happens. We don't have to give up. We can still get married. We're not doing it for a visa, not love. Maybe Mum's right. Maybe this is God's way of punishing us. Oh, come on. Come on, Libby Jeffries. You don't believe that? And I don't really think that Yvonne does either. But a marriage should be about love and romance and a family. And ours wouldn't be like that. Why not? We might not have romance and fireworks, but we have love. It's just a different kind. We have loyalty and trust and complete honesty. We share the same dreams, Libby. I want to make them happen with you. I want to marry you. But what about all the signs? Why has it all gone so wrong? Because stuff happens. And it will keep happening, but we can get through it together if we want to. Do you want to? <laughs> Maybe Jeffries. My best and dearest. Will you marry me? Yes. <laughs> Excuse me, you two. I am so sorry. And I hope that you can forgive me. I love you both very much. All I want is for you to be happy. Are you giving us your blessing? I am. Well, it's not much use if we can't get married. My friend Marion from Floral Art. She is a celebrant. I gave her a call and she can be here in half an hour. That's if you still want to get married today. Yeah, we do. We do. As you. You accepted what was going on and I just tried to fight it. Fight what? You. Us. I love you. And 
Are you sure you're upset? I love about... you. It's only ever been you. I was just scared. We've screwed it up so many times, got it wrong, missed our moments. We have to be crazy to think a relationship between us would ever work. <laughs> Well, now I'm not sure what you're saying. I'm saying I, I don't want to miss this moment. I wish it hadn't taken my brother nearly dying to realise it, but I, I don't want to live with the what-ifs anymore. I, I want us to be together. And what about Callum? What about him? Do you still want me, or am I too late? I never stopped wanting you. By the declaration of vows and the exchanging of rings, you have affirmed your commitment to each other. May your special kind of love deepen and grow with all the tests and joys that life has to offer you. Gerald and Olivia, I now pronounce you husband and wife. You may kiss your bride. Oh. <laughs> How long have we waited to get here? We may have to get a plane. I haven't forgotten about Jonathan's accident. Oh, same. I, I was just... I know. Sorry. when I get back. I can't break up with him over the phone. He deserves better than that. I know he does. I have to go. I'll take you. It's OK. I'll call a taxi. For goodness sake, Rachel, you'll miss your plane. Come on. Hey, just because I love you doesn't mean you can boss me around. <laughs> I see. Kenny and Tipperary face off in the All-Ireland Senior Hurling Final this weekend. We'll have live coverage of the game from 2 o'clock here on RTE1, but we'll be getting into the spirit of things the night before with Des Cahill, Bronya Shoiga and supporters of both teams who are up for the match. That's on Saturday night at 20 to 10 here on RTE1. Next today, it's Doctors.